Hey everyone, it's Tracy Martirana here from Holistic Wellness with Tracy. Today I'm trying out a recipe that I think would make a great Thanksgiving side dish, Brussels sprouts gratin. I'm starting with an onion. I'm dicing it up and getting it into a large cast iron skillet with a little olive oil. I'm using the cast iron because I plan on putting this right into the oven. I'm making this a one dish meal. Well, actually maybe two, but if you don't have an oven safe skillet, you can just use whatever you have and then transfer everything to a baking dish before you put it in the oven. I'm also going to add a little salt and pepper, and then I'm just cooking the onions until they become soft and slightly translucent, stirring every now and then so they don't burn. While the onions cook, I'm prepping a few cloves of garlic. I could have used a garlic press to mince them, but instead I decided to just finely chop the cloves with my knife. I'm adding the garlic to the onion and allowing it to cook for a moment or so. And then I'm shutting the heat off and I'm just gonna let this fresh thyme sit here with the onions and just sort of meld all their flavors together. While the onions sit, I'm prepping the Brussels sprouts by trimming off the ends and then cutting them into, you could do quarters. I did a little bit smaller than quarters. You could actually even leave them whole if they're all pretty uniform or cut them in half. Whatever you decide you want to do, it will work out just fine. Actually, for the specifics of this recipe, check out my blog post. I'll put the link down in the description box below. Now, once I have my Brussels sprouts all chopped up, I'm turning the heat back on and I'm adding the Brussels sprouts to the pan along with another little sprinkle of salt and pepper. And I'm gonna stir it around. I'm just wanting it to cook a little bit just to get the onions and the Brussels sprouts all mixed together and warmed through. And by the way, if you're not a huge fan of Brussels sprouts, you could substitute a combination of broccoli and cauliflower. That would also be delicious. Now I'm going to add my cheese. I'm starting with about a half a cup of Gruyere, but feel free to use more if you'd like. I'm then going to add in a cup of half and half, but you could also use heavy cream, you could use milk. And then about a quarter cup of grated parmesan. But you know, the one thing I love about this recipe, again, with all my other favorite recipes, it's very flexible. If you don't like Gruyere or Parm, you could use whatever cheese you want and it will still be delicious. I'm stirring this around to combine. I'm going to remove that stem from the thyme that was in here. Nobody wants to eat that. And then I'm going to pop the pan into the oven for about 20 minutes, give or take. While that bakes and becomes all thick and bubbly, I'm going to work on mixing up my crumb topping. I'm using whole wheat panko, but you could really use any sort of breadcrumbs. Adding about a tablespoon of grated Parmesan, some black pepper, a little garlic powder, and then I'm adding red pepper flakes. If you don't like heat, you could skip those. I actually wish I would have added a little bit more. And then I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil and stir it around just until it's well combined. After the 20 minutes, I'm removing the pan from the oven. I'm just going to spread the breadcrumb mixture over the top, pop it back in the oven for about five minutes or so. And then after that, you have this delicious creamy veggie mixture with a crispy breadcrumb topping. It is absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for joining. Have a great day.